It means recognizing that if the government doesn't give royal assent to the two bills, it's going to be thanks, good night. The opposition are going to bring down the government. So that's what I'd like. I would like to inform the leader of the Bloc Québécois that the Conservative Party of Canada voted in favor of this bill. We are sensitive to the well-being of seniors. Now, Mr. Speaker. In the leader's speech, we heard that uh, this uh, leader is curious to know what's in the election platform of the uh, Conservative Party. And we're also very much looking forward to unveiling our, our electoral platform. But let's look at what's happened in recent months, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Liberals are trying to uh, uh, prevent our party from moving forward. Uh, with things that are good for Canadians. Now, Mr. Speaker, I would just like to know what's going to happen October 30th, the day before Halloween. Will Canadians be getting ready for an election because the Bloc Québécois has launched an ultimatum, but they don't have the power and the legitimacy to do so? I'd like to hear my colleague on that. The Honourable Leader of the Bloc Québécois. Well, without referring to those who are present or absent, Mr. Speaker, because I'm not a bad boy like that, I would note that many times outside of this place, I have invited the Conservative leader to debate me, but poof, completely absent. That having been said, that having been said, I am happy that the Conservative Party is still considering uh, supporting the Bloc Québécois uh, in seniors, as they've done in the past. Now, at that time, where we might be uh, required to vote uh, together. It's something that's happened before, despite what the Liberals might say. If it doesn't work, we might also uh, have to vote together to uh, bring down this government. The Honourable Member from Hamilton Centre. Mr. Speaker, New Democrats are going to support this bill, but it's the bare minimum approach that ultimately we feel isn't very creative. <laughs> Seniors deserve better. We need to think beyond this 10% increase of OAS. We need to think about providing a dignity of life and one that supports universal public drug co coverage and dental care and initiatives like basic income. So the leader of the official opposition has had years to deliver for Quebec. And with an election looming, it would appear today that he seems desperate to show that he could be relevant. So would the bloc have the opportunity to finally support the people of Quebec, whether it be getting dental care, pharma care, or supporting seniors, they refuse to do so. So can the leader of the bloc please explain to this House why he waited so long to deliver results for Quebecers when he could have been supporting NDP initiatives like dental care and pharma care and basic in income? No, no, have the Honourable Member for Belle Chambly. Interference, 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 all kinds of interference, along with a bit of incompetence. That's why. The care that the member is referring to are already under a competent jurisdiction, the jurisdiction of Quebec. I am happy to hear, listen, I agree with the colleague that, uh, you know, what, uh, uh, you know, we're asking for isn't necessarily enough and we need to go further, but I'm happy to see the NDP is going to support us. But listen, we need to remember that, you know, it can't just be for three days, you know, supporting the bloc. It means recognizing that if the government doesn't give royal assent to the two bills, it's going to be, thanks, good night. The opposition are going to bring down the government. So that's what I'd like to know if, if the NDP will follow us in that. The Honourable.